Why did I add that deadlift in there? I don't know, just to try to be more entertaining with you guys. So in this video, I want, by the way, that was 315, two by three. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about where I'm purchasing my, where I'm purchasing my detailing products. Uh, this isn't something that I've really thought about over the last few years. I've usually been on Amazon, but uh, over the past, when I started my podcast, I went through an experience, a buying experience that was very pleasing and it kind of shifted my thought process on where I purchased my tools and products. So uh, so I'll, I'll talk to you about where I purchased it, why I'm purchasing it from there, and just sharing that with you guys. So it all actually started from when I was looking for my podcast equipment. So if you don't know, I have a podcast called the Detailing Business Class Podcast where I just share tips, tricks, strategies, tactics about starting and growing a detailing business, Spotify, iTunes, all that jazz. You can click the link down below to find more. And uh, when I was looking for that podcast equipment, I was literally, I, it took one day, it took me about five hours to look for everything because at that time, I didn't know squat about uh, about podcasts. Like I just knew you needed a mic, but I didn't know about the editing software, the software to distribute the, the, the podcast. I don't know about like the, like I just didn't know anything. So I spent a good five hours going through YouTube, through Google, through, uh, through uh, blog posts and just trying to find what do you need? What's the good equipment with the different price points? Which is the best? Which is the worst? Which is ideal for beginners? All that jazz. And so it just, I, you know, I made a huge list. I, you know, typically what we do for, for if you're starting a business, like you're making this huge list and trying to learn things. And, you know, as I kind of narrowed down what I needed, I started to look at, okay, where am I going to purchase it from? And this was at the time of the, like, the height of the pandemic, like when everything was shut down and everyone was like kind of seeing what's going to happen. So when I was looking at it on Amazon, because I have Amazon Prime, uh, the shipping, the delivery days were like weeks to months out in advance because they were prioritizing what they're, what they're delivering. So it was literally weeks and weeks out. And of course, like I kind of wanted it now, right? And I was looking for something locally, if I could purchase it locally. And a lot of the things I, just, I couldn't, like I had to order it in. I, I was able to buy a few things locally, but most of it I had to get ordered in. So uh, Amazon, I was like, man, I don't, don't want to wait three weeks. Like, I kind of want to do it now. Uh, so I was looking around. So then I found B&H, which I've been, I purchased stuff from them before. But uh, I saw, so I was looking at B&H Photo, which is like, they're a huge distributor for like camera and audio gear. So I kept on looking between Amazon and, and B&H and again like with Amazon it was weeks out and with B&H they were still able to send out their shipments on time. Like yes they, they had some, some issues like as everyone was having with, with delivery but for the most part they were still able to uh, ship out when needed. And not only that, but like the way that it was able to help because they only focus on that industry, uh, the way that they were able to like recommend products and the, the, the information that they had and all that, like it was much more useful than Amazon. And to me, like when people ask me, hey, like where do you get your stuff? Like where do you buy your stuff? I would just say Amazon because that's where I primarily get my stuff. But because of like the, exp the buying experience was so much better, they, it was so much more tailored to the creative space to like what I was looking for on B&H. Uh, it was just a much more pleasant experience and it was quicker to go to them and to learn about to learn about podcasts and stuff through them than it was to like try to find everything on Amazon because like Amazon you know it's for everyone b and h is for the specific you know audio video gear that you need so it was just a much more pleasant experience and uh so I ordered everything through b and h it was it was shipped on time it was delivered on time I had no issues it was great the experience was great I was very happy with with what went happened with you know that whole buying experience and if I went through Amazon you know it's kind of like Amazon has everything, but because it has everything, it's very generic. Like you don't really feel anything personalized or whatever. But with B&H, I did. So then I, the next the few days uh, later, I was like, man, like, is, that, is there anything like that for, for detailing that I could do? Uh, because like, not for me, because I know what I need to purchase and where to look and you know, all that jazz. So I don't, I, not really for me specifically, but since I get so many questions about like, hey, where do you buy this? Where do you buy that? What about this? Uh, it would be great to point to a resource like B&H, but for detailing. So I was, I was like, man, who, who do I, who would I do that for? Like, who can I trust? Uh, what platform or what what website? What company could I could I send them that be would that would be equivalent to like B and H for me? And you know I purchased from 2011 to like 2014. I purchased everything on AutoGeek. I was on AutoGeek online forums for years. Uh, but then I switched over to Amazon, and then that's probably like the last time I really purchased. I, I purchased a few things here and there from different brands, but uh, AutoGeek was probably like the main part, the main platform, the main company. But you have like detailed image, detailers domain, if, uh, Autopia if they're still around. Uh, Auto Geek, you have pl uh, plenty of them. Um, but I don't, like, Auto Geek is just, 
I just didn't want, I, I didn't feel like they were, they were like the right one. They're, they're kind of more like, not outdated, but like their website has not changed since like 2011. And it's, it's I don't know. So I didn't want to, it wasn't them. But I wanted a resource that way, like I can point a lot of my viewers to that resource, to that company. And it'll have the same experience that I did purchasing the podcast equipment uh, for, for detailing. And I get emails all the time from like sponsorships of like, hey, can we pay you to, to review this? Hey, can we do that? And I, like, I just, I, 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 I don't accept sponsorships. Like I just... If you've seen my videos, you know I don't really care about brands or like, you know, hyping one up because it just, it's, it's very uh, insignificant to me in terms of what I'm using. As long as it works, that's all that matters. Uh, so there's, I have no real loyalty to any one brand because I just, I really don't care. So I was like, okay, where? So uh, I remember years ago, like when I first started my business, I remember uh, watching Chicago Auto Pros videos. This is like way, way, way back then. This is literally like almost a decade ago. I remember watching their videos on YouTube and also mesmerized and like, it was just cool watching their videos. Again, this was in 2011 or like, you know, eight, seven years ago. It, oh, this is gonna be, I think this is my, I think this is ours. Is that ours? Okay, that actually might take a while in there, so I'll move that to the backyard. I kind of forgot where I left off, but uh, so Jason reached out to me and he told me that he, he had, has a new company, Car Supplies Warehouse. He's the co-founder of Chicago Auto Pros that I used to watch so many years ago and he started Car Supplies Warehouse or whatever the correct name is here. And uh, he was just saying like what he was trying to do with it and his program and like what all entails. And I looked through it. I His videos are very uh, entertaining and, and educational. And I was like, you know what? This is like, this is what I would see the B&H equivalent of detailing. Whereas like, I could send people here to this website and they'd get very educational, informative information. The pricing is great. And again, like it's industry, industry, industry specific, unlike Amazon. And again, this isn't like anything, you know, innovative or re revolutionary. Like there's, you know, Auto Geek Online and all, the, and all those other places. But me just, I, it just looked like I would fit well with like buying my stuff from Car Supplies Warehouse. And I would assume that most of you would also like that, like that experience because it, I went through it and it just, it, it's just a good fit. I got a little dog right here. So that's where, I per that's where I'm gonna start purchasing most of my stuff. Now I am an affiliate for that, uh, comp uh, for that platform, for Car Supplies Warehouse, but I'm an affiliate with literally everyone and I always have a disclaimer wherever I put links or anything. So that's, that's natural for, for, it to, for it to be. And my main reason wasn't for an affiliate. Like there's not much of a difference there. Like I, I, I just, I like, like again, from my podcast experience of purchasing the podcast equipment with B&H, that just transla translated directly over to uh, Car Supplies Warehouse and that just, that just seemed like a better fit, especially for those that want like a resource. Like I'll just, you know, I'll just point them out to Car Supplies Warehouse and I feel like that would be a good place for you to get that buying experience. Um, you know, I guess they're gonna keep on adding products and tools. Like I did ask a few questions and like, you know, just like anyone, they're gonna keep on adding pr brands and products and such. So this isn't a pitch for Car Supplies Warehouse, like whether you want that or wherever you go. But I'm just saying that's where I'll purchase my stuff because of the B&H experience. So that's what I'll be doing. If you want to check them out, if you want to go there, that's fine. There's still other platforms, like I mentioned, all throughout this video. So wherever you want, Adam, that's just my experience and what I went through with Amazon. I'm still going to use Amazon like for things that I just like last minute need and for everything non detail related, of course. But that's just the story. That's where I'll be purchasing my stuff. Most of my stuff. I'm not like strictly gonna be off of there. Like I'm still gonna purchase things from wherever I need it. But if I can get it from Car Supplies Warehouse, then that's where I'll get it from. But again, I'm not stuck to one thing. Like don't think that nothing is ever like, uh, I'm just, no. If, if I could purchase it there, I will. If I can't, I'll go somewhere else because that's, I still need to get what I need to get. So hopefully that, oh, I don't know. I mean, people ask me where I get my stuff. So now I'll, I'll say Car Supplies Warehouse. So let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns, if you've checked it out. Uh, I'm not here to pitch or say like they're the best platform. Again, I'm not even sponsored. I'm just an affiliate, but I'm an affiliate for Amazon and for whatever. So it's, you know, I'm not being paid to say anything. So let me know if you, I don't know. I'll just end it right here. Okay.